Oh, man. Ooh, oh, frick. Power couple, oh. though. A little hot, actually. Little bit, a little bit. Step into the brand tour of Dragon Ball GT. FS. Do you like Mario Party? What the frick, frick is happening anymore? <laughs> Goku ends up in a frick. fucking alternate dimension with a Mr. Mixus Pitlick with weird frick. fucking toes, and they play Mario Party. That's hmm? that's yeah, that's, no, that, the that's, that's the that's episode thirty and thirty one. That's that's what happens. That is the a plot of thirty and thirty one. Well, I mean, in 31, we find out that it's not actually a Mr. Mitsuplicklick. Yeah, instead, it's a different, weird, freaking alien. It just Two happened. different, weird, freaking aliens. Yeah, I liked it better when it was just a weird alien guy and his cute little talking dice, but no, I guess they're both just Tanuki. Lemurs? No, Who knows? Space lemurs. Space lemurs. Speamers. Spamers. Spermers. Hmm. Hold on, eh? Nick. Yeah? What is going on? Dragon Ball GT, man. Dragon Ball GT. I, I don't even know how to like really talk about these first two episodes because it's just so freaking bizarre. Like, again, Goku ends up in this, again, board game universe dimension yep. type thing. And the Mixus Pitlick, what was his name? Sogoroku or something? Suguro. Suguroku. And then there's Suguroku Space. Which I don't, is apparently where this whole game is taking place. Um, yeah, that, like that's what we're like. Our cold open is on that, and that Goku, you gotta play this board game now. Uh, the stakes are ill-defined, but you gotta do it. Okay. And the the guy with the weird Frick. toes is is cheating because okay, the dice is his kid. Look, I'm gonna do something that I don't usually do. <clears throat> are you gonna say pan? Never. Okay. Ever. So I tried in these three episodes. There's the Mario Party stuff turns out those are two little alien lemurs There's the stuff on earth that has to do with pawn and then try hold on and then trying to get everybody uh, To like literally shoot, shoot out That's, the aliens after they move from earth to I, the Sephirian planet hold on hold on uh, hold on Then freaking oob shows up and he tries to help, gets jobbed immediately, then Fat Boo merges with Oob, and then they become a, a Majub. Those are those three episodes. Those are the basic things that count. See you next time on GTF. <laughs> now, now the reason I did that. What the frick was the point of the first and a half episode? Not, what was the it, point? Like, Why did that happen? It was to establish that Goku didn't die from the ball and that the Supreme Kai managed to whisk him away to a different reality. Yeah, but he yeah, dropped yeah guess, him. guess what, guess what, G guess what? Could have just picked him up, took him to the planet. Yeah, probably. He had an entire episode and a half Frick. that didn't need to happen, with a plot that didn't need to happen. Why, 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 somebody... why Mario Party? Why the Mario Party stuff, why is it there? I can assure you, I already know this, I don't even care that I'm spoiling. Those two little tonicky dudes, those little mother Frick. Not important. Not important. They well, then where would they have gotten the pliers, Kaiser? Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, I, it, it would be really strange if the gods of this universe were ever shown to be able to materialize things out of nowhere. Impossible. Yeah, no, no. What was the point? It wasn't fun. It certainly wasn't funny. What was the point of that episode and a half in the well, middle it, of a very, very big arc? Maybe. With Frick. <gasps> Maybe it was funnier in Japanese because there's like a lot of puns in there that just didn't translate. <sighs> Maybe they're playing on like Japanese game show culture. Maybe maybe it was all an allegory. You know, you know, the funny thing was, I am. It took me almost half the show for me to start. Yeah, we're halfway over. through, by the way. Yeah, yeah, we ended on thirty. <laughs> we ended on thirty freaking two. Halfway through the show, and we finally made Mazel it to the top. point. We've finally made it to the part where I'm starting to crack. And everyone's like, oh, hey, the worst part's behind you. I mean. Is it? Is it behind me? Because right now, I'm breaking. I am breaking. It's, at least it's not doll talky. At least, at least it's not doll talky. No, it's not doll talky. It's pawn throwing laxatives into people's mouth and yeah, making she, them shoot themselves. Yeah, like I, I, 
Admittedly, that made me laugh. It's like her entire plan of de de the planet is throwing poop pills into people's mouths. Like, hey, buddy, I need you all to shoot in the street so you can get rid of your eggs. I'm a deworm ya. <laughs> <laughs> what happy, cheery music we have on the assimilated Earth. Welcome to Planet Doom. This is a good day. This is a happy day. Meanwhile, back in society, everybody's adapted very well. They've uh, really gone full socialism, and uh, society's actually doing pretty good. I want, like, in uh, some sort of Superman cartoon, just to, like, that be the cut to apocalypse. <laughs> 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 I do have to say, so we actually start out kind of solidly with our main man with a plan, baby, using the Dragon Balls, which, can, by the way, is such also, a kick in the pants. Yeah, he, he, uses he, the he decides to, like, the, the entire, like, actual progressing plots of the episode, since Goku's just offing Mario Party World, is every time we cut back to Earth, there's always this weird cheery music playing. And Baby is like, hey, I'm gonna use these Dragon Balls. I'm gonna make my own planet. All these people are gonna live there. We're gonna chill together. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I'm creating a new society. Come on, everybody, let's go. Uh, my, my, slam, my slam piece over here has already made a big old ship for you all, well, for a hundred of you at least, to fly on up there. Frick you, Krillin. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really, really had to get one over on old Krillin. Is this yeah. the first time we've seen him in the show proper, by the way? I think. I think it is. Yeah. I, I might be wrong. He might have shown up in the first episode or two. I can't I, I remember. I don't remember. Like, because I remember seeing him in, like, the new cutting to commercial cutaway. Because, like, he shows yeah, yeah. up in that with the yeah, normal but dinosaur. I, I but. genuinely cannot remember if he was in the first episode or two. No, we see big old, Kr like, Krillin with a mustache uh, who, for whatever reason, can't recognize Majin Buu. For... Which, okay, maybe that's a joke. It has so, to be, because Boo disguises his face and nothing else. Yes, it kind of feels like it's supposed to be a joke, which if it is... Fine. Yeah, I guess. Like, But the fact that I'm like, wait, is this a joke? Maybe there's a problem with that. Although maybe I'm dumb. Maybe I'm dumb, old and American, and I don't get the joke. I know I'm dumb. <laughs> I mean, you're kind of technically the other things, too. <laughs> Whoop. <gasps> it was Boo? It's, okay. Okay, so, gotta calm down, gotta calm so, down. Yeah. Gotta chill. <laughs> Take deep breaths. <laughs> so yeah, Baby makes a new planet, Tuffle. He makes a ship for people to go there on. And again, it's just so bizarre. Every time we cut back to the baby plot, it's got this like happy, like sometimes it's like a steel drum, sometimes it's a pan flute going. The complete opposite vibe of a totalitarian fascist regime that baby appears to be the head of. Like you're not, you're like, you're not getting this doomsday vibe every time you go back, despite the fact that Pan, Mr. Satan, and Boo are basically doing a red dawn I mean with poop pills. I will say, like, so all the stuff that they're trying to do, I'm saying trying, to do with, like, all of our heroes as villains, <sighs> one of the things that's really weird about this plot is that how much of their original personality they seemingly retain is sort of... Or at least points nebulous. of reference. Like, they, they seem to regard each other by their familial, like, relations. Yeah, yeah they, like, even Gohan refers to Goku as dad after he's and supposedly Pan been as, killed. And you know... Yeah. So, like, these are things that they recognize, and so they're being, uh, like, you know, twisted slash, like, overrun by baby's programming. Mm -hmm. But the thing that, but, but it seems like it's kind of here or there on how much they are. Like, there's this kind of funny line from Android 18, or Cyborg 18, or whatever. 18. Juhachigo. Juhachigo. Artificial human 18, where she says, wow, you really are Krillin, aren't you? Which is a very funny joke, actually. Yeah, yeah, like, he, he gets denied access to the ship, and he's like, oh, come on, don't you know how scary my wife can be? Wait. So they can only fit 100 humans on that thing? That's... I don't believe that. I don't believe that for a moment. Hi. 
just like, God, right. and this man, this poor man. Th that being said, the fact that it's because Boo cut in front of him, A plus, no notes. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. you, you can't cut in line. Excuse, excuse me, excuse, yeah. excuse me. I, I, oh. and because if, but he's like, ah, whatever. We're all going to the same place. Well, what was going to happen anyway? What if the cutoff was directly after him? His wife and daughter wouldn't have gotten on. They probably would have made an exception of, oh, yeah, Would the they? Yeah, whoop. Mm. Would they? Because mm. now they're all basically the same person. They're a hive mind now. Yeah. I guess, in a weird way. I don't know. Also, Everybody seems, like, super happy. Also, I don't believe that that ship can only carry 100 people. I'm sorry. But, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. But, like... Maybe it's 100 it's, families. I don't know. But it's it's just weird. So, I guess they're going to have to go back into space at some point to collect those Black Star Dragon Balls, which I don't remember ever happening. This show just starts over. This time it's Pun, Mr. Boo, and Satan. Step into the Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour, step into the Grand Tour, Dragon Ball GT! Ha ha! But the things I do remember happening, uh, where Goku finally ends up on the Supreme Kai planet. Yep. And... A literal but pull. First, so Supreme Kai is like, we're gonna have to do some training with you. And then it's like, you're going to grind coffee. Which, okay, I guess he's grinding you know, wa Wax on, wax yeah. off the Miyagi style. Which then, then makes Goku's tail grow? I don't know if well, that's what happens. Well, because, no, no, it is. It is because he literally says, "My, it's making my butt itch." And then you see, like, oh. you see old Kai like do this knowing yeah, grin. Keep going, keep yeah. going. Okay. He was supposed. To, I missed that. I must have drowsed, dozed, dozed off. If you look at this footage of me watching these last couple episodes, I am yawning more than I think I've ever yawned <laughs> while watching oh these episodes. Oh my god! But no. So yeah, he's he's grinding the coffee. Which okay, I guess the coffee makes the tail grow. I mean. You know, whatever. Again, uh, again, it feels like what is going on with the writing for these parts? Because, okay, grinding coffee. Okay, we've established the way this is going to happen. Wait, nope, nope. Got to cut that off because apparently now Goku has to go save Pan. And then there's like... So the worst part of it all is finally Oob shows back up for the first time since episode one. And he goes toe to toe with baby Vegeta for a bit. And admittedly, probably one of the better fights we've seen in a minute. Uh, it's fairly well paced. Oob looks kind of cool. Boy's jacked. But he's ultimately no match for baby Vegeta, especially when people start like throwing themselves in the way as like human shields and stuff, which baby Vegeta's like, get the fuck out of my way. He'll blast a mother Rick. for no reason. The way uh, he deals with Pun is very funny. Yeah, just slap. Go away. Get, get, get out of here, tiny child. Shut up. Go, stop it. Like, he no-sells all of her offense in a way that he's literally just a PNG standing there just... Yeah. No. Slap. But he, but he knocks Oob out, and Oob's like, oh man, I can't believe this is happening. And then uh, another part that I do, re like, remember from my childhood, Boo going like, oh man. Uh, and Mr. Say's like, Boo, you gotta help him. And Boo's like, yeah, bye. Bye. He's like, he got this little touching scene where he's like, I love you. It was cute. Mr. Boo and Satan having this relationship with each other and for Boo to just be like, I love you, man, but I gotta go do this. Yeah, and, and then it, goes it, off like, to save Boob. Pa Pan, uh, Pan is dear to you. That means she's dear to me. And I'm mm. like, oh, that's cute. Uh, and so he goes and he saves Oob from the nega spirit bomb. That's all I'm going to call it. They have a name for it. I don't give a shoot. shit. Uh, I think and it's called revenge. Again, bomb. I don't give a shoot. Sh okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Boo eats it, uh, pops, and then he talks to Oob's like, hey, by the way, you and I were at one point a single being. Don't know why nobody ever brought this up with you. Probably might have been a key to your training, but whatever. Uh, we're going to be one again. I'm going to seep into you, and you're going to get a cool new vest and a belt. And maybe you're we become a shade lighter. Yeah, you're gonna get a little paler. You know, yeah. You're just gonna, yeah. Honestly, uh, I, I do have to say. His redesign's cool. Yeah, yeah, the redesign, it, uh, no as, notes, as honestly. The, as it's, the English audience knows him, Majub looks yeah, cool. Yeah, genuinely, everything about like the design is cooler in terms of like the vest, the, the, the like the belt. It's like, yeah. The it, genie pants, like the, him just in Boo's outfit, yeah, basically. The, the Majin look, yeah. it fits him. It, yeah, it he's, he's got that fit. He's all like jacked and swole. He's like, I'm ready to go after you, baby. And then the narrator immediately cuts in. Can he hold him off until Goku arrives? It's like, no sold, immediately. Even the narrator's like, this don't mean shoot. 
This don't mean shoot. This is Piccolo absorbing nail levels of shoot. He's gonna be a little cooler for a second, but he don't matter. Goku's getting his butt pulled out right now. STL, his Saiyan tail lift, you know, just really, really, he's gonna be juicing. I gotta admit, I gotta admit, I kind of blew my load a little early on my take with Oob in this show, but I couldn't hold it back any longer. Yeah. I couldn't. I can't. I'm sorry. Do you know what it's like to be, can you imagine, oh my god. So imagine, imagine if you could, being a Dragon Ball fan. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. No, back trying, in the day, trying. back in the day, back in the day when it was coming out in the manga, week to week, and then it, Ends. The manga, one of the biggest manga of all time, freaking ends. And at the end, it sets up a new character to be the successor to Goku. Yeah, his his pupil. Yes. <laughs> this is how the freaking manga ends. It's not an ending I particularly love, but it happened. And then, and then. He finally shows up in this show. At the very beginning of, and by the way, the Frick. freaking anime. No break. Yeah, I know. We, so yeah, we went from NMC to, to GT, GT, and Oob shows up, disappears, or immediately disappear for half and the freaking show. Yeah, he he like says like I've been off training in the mountains to get stronger for my next fight with Goku. That's why I got more meat on me now. And now he's back. Now he's back and he's fused with Boo. And unfortunately, because we don't live under a rock and we have watched a lot of these episodes. It doesn't, even, it doesn't matter if you live under the rock because the narrator tells you he doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oob doesn't matter. Why would you, why? Why would you write this? Why would you write the character The, the like narrator this? outright tells you, can he hold him off while Goku undergoes his surgery? Like, I think we underplay this a little bit. I think we, as a fan of Dragon Ball and people who critique art, should look at the whole existence of Oob and go, what the fudge happened? And I'm sorry, I don't like to get this over the top. I don't want to go frick, the whole nostalgia critic, what were they thinking? But seriously, I want to know what the process of writing this character was like. Did they just see Oob and think, there's no way we can make this guy the main character. Which, hey, look, that's, it, that's fine. what. It, that's it, fine. It, 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 yeah, okay, but but pro still, a, but prominent side character. I don't know. Like, there's years later, anime figured out how to make like secondary characters work and give them moments. Like One Piece is a fantastic example. Almost every arc, each character on the crew has a defining moment. Hell, My Hero Academia has too many goddamn characters. But you know what? It will give those characters big moments, really yeah, cool it'll, it'll moments. Gi it'll give them some shine. Yeah. And, and I guess I guess this is the moment the, yeah, where this, they get this some is, shine. This, this is Oob's shine. He's he's getting his moment okay. in the sun before he gets buried, brother. He's he's going back down the card. He Boo Oob's absolute mid carder. Nope, his push wasn't working. I just it's it, it's a little frustrating because Oob is not was not much of a compelling character. But they could have made him one. But they could have made him one. They they could have done and, and something with the character. What like they that. did in this episode, if the narrator hadn't immediately no sold him, <laughs> like it, if we hadn't left off on that last episode with literally the narrator saying, "Can he hold him off?" It's like, well, thanks, yeah. cool. Like that, really, really giving me the gas here. Also, Pan referring to Baby as he's in his final form. How do you know that? What, what evidence are you given that tells you that he can't go further? Also, we know he goes a little further, but that's yeah. a different thing entirely. Oh, All right. My fudge. Come on, say Goku. It doesn't help that it's a shade of brown. Yeah, it really doesn't help. I don't, I don't know. Just, like, yeah, no, Go this... Goku's going to be getting his tail pulled out. I don't know for how long, but it's going to be at least one more episode while U does maybe some cool things and then gets put back in the dirt. I can't remember what episode Super Saiyan 4 shows up, but it, I can't. It's it coming. Is, it's it coming. Is... We're closer to it than we were before. I mean, <laughs> that's how time works. Yep. No, it's. It is the thing that I'm looking forward to right now because unfortunately, 
I know what comes after baby. So like for the rest, the, the next part of GT, the second half of this is going to be very different in a, a lot of ways a, than the first half of this series was. But guess what? We are in fact over halfway through. Ha we are currently at the end of this, we are now Halfway? halfway through GT and halfway through GTFS. Isn't this amazing? What hasn't a, this journey, what a... Hasn't this journey been so fulfilling? Hasn't, hasn't it been enlightening? Don't you feel like a better, more well-rounded person now? Yes, but not because of the show. Oh, well, I mean... I've, I've been working on myself. Improvement starts with you. No, it starts with I. And it ends with Oob. See you next time on GTFS. <sighs> this show, I swear to God.